close your eyes and watch your breath. You think boot with the in-breath, toe with the out. Boot toe means awake. It's a quality we're trying to develop as we meditate. Being awake to what's going on in the mind, what's awake to what's going on in our thoughts, words, and deeds. Stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Know what's going on. If the mind begins to wander off, notice that and bring it right back. It's when you notice things clearly, that's when you can do something about them. And the best way to notice things clearly is to train your mind so it is steady and clear. It stays with what you want it to stay with and doesn't stay with things that you see are not good to stay with. This is the beginning of the new year, and this is an auspicious way to begin the year. Remembering that the mind needs to be trained if we're going to be happy in this happy new year. Looking at our past year and thinking about things that we may have done different, we should have done different, well, this is our chance to clean the slate and start all over again. We can actually do this every day of the year, but New Year's is a good time to think about the past year, what the gains and losses, in other words, the good things you did, the things that are not so good things that you might be able to correct this time around, the goodness that you want to maintain this time around. And then make up your mind that this is what your resolution is going to be. The Pali word for this is atitana, which means determination. You make up your mind you're going to be your own blessing this year. People come to the monastery for blessings from the monks, and the monks are happy to give them. But for a blessing to really take root in your life and to really have an influence in your life, it depends on your actions. So look at your actions. We take the precepts every week to remind you these are the standards that the Buddha set. We practice meditation every week to remind you, okay, this is how you train your mind. This is the kind of mind that you want to have. Because we're used to living in a mind that just kind of wanders all over the place. We can direct a little bit here, a little bit there, but then it comes and d does things and thinks things that we really don't want it to. And they sometimes can take over. But if you learn how to train the mind, if you're mindful and alert, then you get more control over the mind. You see how much better it is to live with a mind that's trained. And you keep your mind up to the standards of the Buddha. And then you turn and look at your actions. Are your actions also in line with the Buddha's standards? In addition to the precept against lying, he also has other precepts on right speech. You don't speak in a way that's going to divide people against each other. You don't speak in ways that are intentionally going to hurt people's feelings. And you don't engage in idle chatter. If we all follow those precepts, one, a lot of the garbage that's out on the internet right now would disappear. The world would be a much better place. I mean, look at how people get divided simply because someone wants something and they're happy to divide people against each other. And it gets harder and harder to talk with one another. So you want to make sure that the speech that you're responsible for, i.e. the speech coming out of your mouth and the things that you write, fall in line with the Buddhist standards. That way you're providing that much more peace for the world, that much more harmony for the world. Because this is what we all want, and when we listen to other people's speech, we want speech that is true, we want speech that's not divisive, we want speech that's not harsh and hurtful. And we don't want to have to listen to a lot of idle chatter. So that's the kind of speech you want to listen to? Well, this, make sure that's the kind of speech that comes out of your mouth. This is just one example of how you can take the Buddhist standards as your standards for the new year and see what it's like to live up to his standards what it does to your life. This is one of the best kinds of ways you can experiment with the New Year. Try something that's been tried and true by a lot of other people and see if it's true for you too. And once the mind is trained, and that means also training your thoughts, words, and deeds, life goes a lot better. And you are a blessing for yourself and for the people around you. And the New Year ha does happen to be, will become a happy New Year. Regardless of events outside, as long as you've got your own standards inside, you can hold to them. There's a sense of security and well-being that comes with that that nothing else can touch.